This video will teach you how easy it is to properly set the back focus of a par focal lens so that everything remains in focus when the focal length is changed. To get started, you'll need to have your camera mounted on a tripod, the lens attached, and three other items, a roll of scotch tape, a Siemens star chart, and a measuring tape. You can find a PDF with these directions and a sample Siemens star chart, also sometimes referred to as a back focus chart, at the link in the description of this video. Anytime you mount a par focal lens onto a camera, it's a good idea to check its back focus to ensure it's properly set up. Start by picking an area with plenty of room and light. Then tape the chart to a wall with a piece of scotch tape. Next, you'll want to find the focal point of the sensor on your camera's body. It's usually marked with this symbol. Once you have located where that is, use the tape measure to place 3 meters, or roughly 9 feet 10 inches, between the chart you just hung and the focal point mark on your camera body. Now it's time to make the necessary adjustments. Begin by making sure to power your camera on and zoom all the way out. Then, set the iris to open. After that, you'll want to loosen the back focus knob and adjust the ring until optimal focus is reached. It may be helpful to enable peaking or connect to a display that can offer peaking so that you have an outline as a guide to tell you when the chart is in focus. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm using an external monitor to illustrate what those values look like. You'll know when to stop because the radial lines will become the sharpest at that exact moment. Don't tighten the ring just yet. Instead, zoom in and focus on the chart. Then zoom out and check if your focus is still good when wide just like you did earlier. If the chart is still in focus, then you can tighten the back focus knob and consider your back focus properly set.